For Gia, the Mila Fadjaro of Khardigadi, Kaunaris, and the Pibriel, and we are here, of course, on the north side of Dublin in Henrietta Street, where we have the best of traditional music coming to you at home today because Noel Hill is with us, and so is Rosie Stewart. But we're going to throw the ball in today with Emma Kill and Jesse Smith.
But the key had me to fall throughout the black, you know? <laughs> Boy, mad. Yeah. Jesus, it's great to have you in the Vipers Club I again. You've... I could hardly remember how to get up here. Are you so serious? long. I haven't so been long. in Dublin for about 10 months. Oh my God. Well, yeah. you played us a few lovely jigs there. What were they? Uh, connected uh, to Dublin uh, through Seamus Ennis. He played that and he sang it. He sang the verse and then he came in the chorus with the fiddle. I heard him at it. I believe there's a recording of Ennis doing that as well, playing fiddle and singing that song. Uh, the Frost is All Over and then I played Kitty Lie Over. Wow. Close to the wall. You draw an awful lot from the well of piping, I suppose, in your own playing, don't you? I was very much influenced by piping. Mm. Also, my young days of uh, fiddle and flute playing. Uh, and to some, uh, some extent, uh, singing as well. Singing was much more important. I remember when I was small, uh, players played airs much more than they do now. Mm. Now it's really attacking reels and all that stuff. But in the young days, uh, like I heard a lot of uh, Willie Clancy play, and I would imagine every about four selections, uh, Clancy would play a slow air. And that was the acceptable thing, but the pace of life was different that time. Yeah. And it was that great draw that, that made my hair uh, stand in the back of my neck when I heard the slow airs. It took years later for me to have the courage to go at some of, some of them myself, you know. Uh, piping, very much so, before I even started playing, I was highly influenced by what Willie Clancy was doing because I'd heard endless hours of him playing through my uncle, God be good to him, Parker Creek. They were great friends, you know. Mm -hmm. and my uncle was living here in Dublin, but he had a motor car and he used to be down in our house at home uh, and all his teaching holidays. He'd spend at our house, my father was his brother, and uh, it gave me the opportunity to hear these great players because he would drive around. Mm. You know, we didn't have a car ourselves. Yeah. It's gas, you're talking about the pace of life beforehand. I suppose it's very appropriate mm. for what we're going through at the minute. Um, yeah. Everything was in the home, you see. All the entertainment was in the home. There was no television or that. So the music and the singing and the storytelling, which I heard a lot of in my young days, yeah. uh, neighbours, uh, ghost stories, all of that stuff, that's all. See, that, that way of life is gone now. Yeah. And time. the t pace of the music and the temperature of the music, the phrasing, uh, all the accent in the music, all of that was in the normal life. The town climbs the mountain and looks out on the sea. In Wiccan or in sleep and back there I long to be. To walk again your kindly streets, the place where life began. With the boys from Barnes Road who hunted for the run, with cudgel stout we roamed about to hunt the drolling. We searched for birds in every first from litter to the we jumped for joy neath the carry skies, a life held no print or plan. As we boys from Barnes Road went hunting for the run. And when the hills were bleeding and the rifles were aflame, to the rebel homes of Kerry, the Saxon stranger came. But the men who dared the oxes and bit the black and tans were the boys from Barnes Road who hunted for the run. But now the tile on foreign soil where they have gone their way. Deep in the heart of London or over on Broadway. And I am left to sing their deeds and praise them while I can. Those boys from Barnes Road who hunt 
started for the run And when the wheel of life runs down And death comes over me Just lay me down in that grand old town Between the hills and sea I'll take my rest in those green fields Where first my life began With the boys from Barnes Rodder Who hunted for the run It's been a tough year for musicians and for music and for the people you know, I suppose. It's a good excuse to meet up with pals and get a few tunes in. Yeah, that's true. Um, we've been forced to adapt what we do in a lot of ways to try and serve people who are interested in piping and learning the pipes, learning to make pipes, people who want to hear piping. So, um, yeah, we've been doing a lot of online teaching. We've been producing a lot more uh, content for people to watch on social media. But uh, it's great to be here in person to play a few tunes with Jesse. Yeah. So, Abbott, you're going to play a few tunes, I think. Yeah, um, I'll play two reels. The first one is called The Bantry Lasses. Uh, it's in O'Neill's. I learned it from an old 78 recording of a musician called Stella Siva. And then the second one is a version of King of the Clans from the Pipe and the Tommy Wreck. Well, I mentioned uh, the slow airs, you know, and, and I'll try a slow air. You know, we've the the the, the thing that hurts me about the COVID. Uh, I, I've been able to manage away down in the west, mm. absolutely fine in my own. And I I'd be I, I don't live a life that's very extravagant anywhere. Or, you know, one one in one's head musically stays in a certain isolation anyway, and. And that, that suited me damn fine. And I was out by the sea and out in the bog and all the things I like to 
<laughs> anything to give me an excuse to be out with a lobster pot, you know. But anyway, uh, one thing that did sadden me is when the likes of Ben Lennon died uh, up in North Leitrim or up in North Clare, living in Dublin, Mary Kane. Mm. And she died, oh. not being able to go to a funeral. And I've great, uh, great uh, you know, regard for the ritual we have in this country, long made it, it continue, of f the funeral and the grieving process and for the siblings and the spouses and families and brothers and sisters of people who have died. And I couldn't go to funerals, you know. I, like we lost a neighbour of mine, a concertina player, Gerard Hawk, up in North Clare, then it was, uh, it was Chris Droney died in North Leitrim and Mary Kane in Dublin. Uh, so I, I'll play the air, uh, an air that I often played in churches uh, in Connemara, going back to years, on Good Friday. Uh, Queen in the Three Mwire, Shocked Cain the Throkere, The Seven Steps of Mercy. And I played, I dedicated to the people who I just mentioned and whose funerals I couldn't attend, nor others. You know, to die in that loneliness, uh, it really hurts me. So, here's for those people. Thank you. 
So Jesse, you've put down a, a good period of isolation with your three budding fiddle players out in Aranmore Island. <laughs> You're going to play a few tunes for us now though. Yeah, I'm going to play two jigs for you. The first one's called Wallop the Pot Lid. It's uh, one of John McFadden's tunes, it's in O'Neill's. And uh, the second one is, I, I don't know, it's another one from O'Neill's, I'm not sure the name of it, but shall I give it a go for you here? Dublin, on the north side of Dublin. Welcome to Nepeve Reina. You're telling me it's your first time it's the first here. Time to, yes, first time to be here. Now, the Pipers Club have been very good to me. Mm. Over the years, I've done the Ace and Use of Piping twice, once in the National Concert Hall and once in Liberty Hall, I think. Mm. And I've done the Cobblestone um, as well. So they've been very nice. But it's lovely to be here as well. Yeah, it's a lovely yeah. building. It is. It's glass. Yeah. It's yeah. glass. You sang a song for us there. What was it? Uh, the Boys of Barnes Roger. Uh, <clears throat> That's one of the songs, it's probably one of the first traditional songs that I can actually remember hearing on the radio. It was probably Sean O'Sheachain way back maybe in the 1960s. Mm. My grandfather loved the song and it was one of those songs that you sort of absorb by osmosis. You know, it's just, it's a bit strange as well singing a Kerry song coming from Fermanagh but you have to admit it's a fabulous song. Well, we're in, we're in the melting pot of it all here now in Dublin, so if there's yeah. a place you get away with it, it's <laughs> yes, Yeah, true, true, indeed. 
So you were telling me there earlier on about this Christmas and about your daughter. She's working over as a nurse in Manchester. What a year for her to be. To be in Manchester, yeah. yeah. It's, it's quite hard for her, I think, this year. Um, she's always loved being in Manchester and so on, but I think it's just the fact that we've been so constricted this year that she can't just hop on a plane and come home when she wants. She's only been home, I think, twice this year. She'd normally be home about four or five times, you know, so yeah, it's Absolutely. quite hard for her, yeah. yeah. You're going to sing me another song now. What have you, what have you uh, <clears> This song is, um, it's the Cherry Tree Carol. It's the only uh, child ballad, or it's the only carol, sorry, that is also a child ballad. Mm -hmm. And it has been around, I believe, since the mid 15th century. It was sung on Corpus Christi, and it's, it's a, a of an incorporation of probably three different carols. Um, I got it from the singing of Bridget Tony. Uh, Bridget did the uh, Man, Woman and Child project with Michael Fortune and Aileen Lambert back in 2013 or 2014. And I heard her singing it then and I thought it was lovely. So, yeah. I thought it was a nice season of the song as well. No better woman. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Joseph was an old man and Wedded Virgin Mary in the land of Galilee. He wedded Virgin Mary in the land of Galilee. As Joseph and Mary walked through an orchard green, there were berries and a cherries. As big as ever seen, there were berries and cherries, as big as ever seen. Said Mary to Joseph in a voice meek and mild, Joseph pluck me some cherries. For I am with child, Joseph pluck me some cherries, for I am with child. Then Joseph flew in anger, in words most unkind, let he pluck thee a cherry, that I got thee with child, let he pluck thee a cherry, that got thee with child. Then spoke the baby Jesus in his mother's womb, bow down tallest tree so my mother might have sung. Bow down, tallest tree, so my mother might have sung. Then bow down the tallest tree, till it touched Mary's hand. She said, see now, Joseph, I have cherries at command. She said, see now, Joseph. I have cherries at command. Then spoke Joseph, I have done Mary wrong. But cheer up, my dearest, and a be not cast down. But cheer up, my dearest, and a be not cast down. As Joseph was walking, he heard angels sing, Tonight will be born our heavenly King. Tonight will be born our heavenly King. Mary took the baby and she wrapped him so sweet and laid him in the manger all are there for to sleep and laid him in the manger
manger. All are there for to sleep. And as she watched over him, she heard angels sing, God bless our Redeemer, our Heavenly King. God bless our Redeemer, our Heavenly King. Rosie, for me anyway, you're one of those names that have, you know, is always thrown around when you're talking about traditional singing, especially in the Ulster tradition. 
Um, you might tell us a little bit about growing up and learning songs for you. Singing was part of our um, home when we were growing up. As I mentioned before, my grandfather lived with us and he loved all those old programs they do, the Ballad Makers Saturday Night and the Job of Journey Work and Kelly House and those sort of programs. And uh, it was also great, people used to call in, great Kelly and House people would come in, neighbours would be in and everybody sang, some of them badly, but you know, <laughs> and in general, yeah, it was good fun, it was good fun growing up, you know, in the songs. But, um, then when I got in, into sort of traditional singing, I was probably in my early 20s, I'd say, when I started competing and then I started like learning all the big So my father would have given us quite a few songs, mm. but then, you know, I met up with reprobates like Roisin White and mm. people like that. She gave me lots of songs, you know, so yeah. yeah, it's been a good journey. You're gonna try another song for us. Yeah, this song is called Out of the Window. Um, I think the first person that I actually heard singing this was Anya Kelly, but I know that it comes from the singing of uh, Paddy Tony mm -hmm. and uh, Rita Gallagher does a very fine version of it as well. My young love said to me, my mother won't mind, and my father won't slight you for your lack of kind. Then she stepped away from me, and this she did say, it will not be long, love, till our wedding day. She stepped away from me and she moved through the fair with hand a clapping dealers, loud shouts rent the air. The sunlight about her did sparkle and play, and it will not be long, love, till our wedding day. When you falls on meadows and the moths fill the night, when glow of the grey shark on hearts through half light, I will slip through the kissment and we'll run away. And it will not be long, love, till our wedding day. So. According to promise at a midnight he rose, but all of that they found were the downturn close. The sheets they lay empty, it was plain to see that out of the you have done. You have plucked the thorn, left the red rose behind. But the thorn, it will wither and fade away soon, while the red rose will flourish in the sweet month of June. Oh, where I an eagle and had wings to fly, I'd fly to my love's castle and there I would lie. On a bed of green laurels I would lay myself down. And with my fond wings I would uh, my love surround.
On sale, Gasov, Fain the Falling Driachta Tatan Gira in the Vio and Sa or Shrod Henrietta. That is all from us in Club Napibri, Ellen. And we want to say special thanks a minute to the Arts Council for generously supporting this initiative and for all of you at home who are, of course, going to donate. The link is above here and all support is greatly appreciated. Now, we have just about enough time for one more tune from Emma Kill and Jesse Smith. Mm -hmm.